Hello and welcome to another video. In this one, we're going to be sharing our haul from the month of June 2024. We're already halfway through this year, which is insane to think about. It's one of the fastest years in recent memory for me. So I got a few things to show off for my haul from this past month. Not too much in the way of movies, but some stuff I'm really excited about nonetheless. So stick around. Let's get started. Before I kick off with the movie haul for this month, I did grab this Invincible t-shirt. Invincible has been one of my favorite shows so far since it kicked off. I'm getting ready to start reading the graphic novel as well. My brother's been buying them and reading them, so he loaned me the copy of his first compendium. So I'm really looking forward to diving into the original you know, graphic novel for it. Uh, but I'm a huge fan of the show, wanted to get uh, a shirt to kind of represent it as well, and found this one on Amazon. Got it for a decent price, like 20 bucks, something like that. So I just wanted to be able to show it off every time I've worn the shirt so far I've gotten a compliment on it so that always makes me excited to know that there's other people out there who are just as much fans of the same stuff I am so one of my favorite shirts probably that I have at this point. Now for this month's haul, I'm most excited to show off the posters because I really only picked up one movie this year. But before we jump into the posters, I do, I said one movie this year, one movie this month. Um, I did pick up the Monkey Man movie that came out just this past week, I think. I have not had a chance to see this one yet, so this was a blind buy for me. But based on what I've heard about it and the people involved on it, I think it was a worthy blind buy for me. So hopefully get a chance to watch this in the coming weeks. Um, part of the reason I really haven't gotten any movies this month is it is summertime now. Um, my wife is a teacher, so she's off on summer break and we just spend a lot of time outside and doing stuff when she's on break and we're on summer. So I really haven't been watching much in the way of movies. I don't think I've watched a movie for like a week and a half now. So it's just kind of been weird because I'm so used to watching a lot of movies and buying movies to check out. But I just... I'm not going to pick up movies if I'm not going to watch them where this one, I think I'll have the time to be able to check it out and I've heard great things on it. So I wanted to grab it for the collection, but I probably won't be buying too much in the way of movies. There is a criterion sale coming up uh, in the next month in July. So I'll probably be grabbing a few titles from that just to be able to get some good deals on them. But like, other than that, I've been enjoying going to the movies with friends. I've been enjoying going outside with my family and stuff. So not too much in the way of like pickups for the summer, which has been really nice just cause you know, and kind of save some money on that. Um, I did want to show another reason I haven't been watching as much and picking up as much stuff is I did get a Kindle for Father's Day. So that was really exciting. I'm not too much huge into reading. At least I wasn't up until I got this uh, because I just tend to be a slow reader. And for some reason, I pick long books to read when I am going to read them. So they take me like a year to read. Um, but I figured, you know what? I'd like to get a Kindle so I can hopefully be uh, more apt to read, make it as convenient as possible, and maybe I'll read more books. And so far, it's been really good. I've gotten a couple graphic novels to be able to read on this and manga. So I've been reading Attack on Titan. I started reading Vinland Saga. I'm going to start reading Roroni Kenshin because I'm, as I've said multiple times on this channel, a huge fan of the anime and the movies and all that. So I'd love to go back and read the manga as well. So I'm going to be reading um, Roroni Kenshin on here. Right now I'm reading The Killing Floor, the Jack Reacher book series, which I've been a huge fan of that show. So I'm doing a lot more reading too instead of um, movie stuff, which has been really fun and kind of interesting to do something different here. So I'm glad I finally have been able to get into something of a different hobby and enjoy it so far. And the really nice thing is you can just hook it up to your library card and read a lot of that stuff for free too. So thoroughly enjoy it. Definitely recommend getting a Kindle if you don't already have one. It's not necessarily movie related, but I've been doing a lot of movie related reading on it. So really enjoying that. So now jumping into posters, I did get one for Furiosa, a Mad Max saga uh, from my buddy that works at the theater. You hooked me up with this one. This is one of the movies I did get to see. I did a review on it. It was actually the last video I did on this channel. I've been really inconsistent lately on videos. I had vacation a couple of weeks ago. So just been a lot going on life wise, but uh, Furiosa, Mad Max Saga. I thought it was a really great movie. Really happy to show off the poster as well. And then besides that, also got Trolls Band Together. This is one that came out last year. Had not had a chance to see it until we just went and took our son to the theaters for the first time. And we went to the theater my buddy works at. So he's like, hey, it's his first time in a theater. I want to hook him up with a Trolls poster. So he was so excited to get this hung up on the wall. After we got home from the movie, we took a picture in front of it and everything. And so that was really proud proud moment for me that he was excited to get a poster, have fun at the movies, and we got to just enjoy that experience because I obviously love going to the movie theater. So to have my son be able to go for the first time and enjoy it and be excited about a poster, that was a really proud moment for me. 
now cracking open my big portfolio of posters that I made out of I think a dishwasher box or something like that uh, to th show off the rest of the posters for this past month. This is the one I was most excited about. I've always wanted an alien poster. So um, with the new Alien Romulus movie coming out, I asked my buddy if he'd be able to get me one. He said, yes, we just got them last week. I'll definitely get you one. So one of the posters I'm most excited to have in the collection. I think this is a great poster, and I'm really happy to have something to be able to show off that love for the Alien franchise. So this one will probably be going up on the wall in the next month or so. Like I said, I wanted to show off Furiosa because I just went to see that, and Trolls because my uh, son and I enjoyed that one. So uh, that one will be going up on the wall soon. But for now, I'll just flatten it out in this envelope here. Another one of my favorite recent series of the past several years is the Planet of the Apes movies. I've not had a chance to see the new Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes movie yet, but I definitely wanted a poster for it to show off my love for the series. So, um, like I said, haven't had a chance to get to the theaters to see this one, but once it hits Blu-ray, this will definitely be a day one pickup for me. I've heard great things about the movie. Really excited for this poster as well. Next, we have Inside Out 2. I think this is the teaser poster, but I love... When they could do a good job with like a simple white poster like this, it really uh, just conveys a lot, I think. So I'm super excited for the movie. I've heard fantastic things about it so far. Inside Out's been one of my favorite of the Pixar movies over the past several years, and I can't wait to check this one out. So hopefully we get a chance to see this one while it's in theaters, maybe. I don't know if we'll take my son, because um, it's not part of the free movie series, so if we have to leave early, then we're losing money on his ticket. But um, at least my wife and I will hopefully have a chance to go see this one, so... And then lastly, for the poster pickups, we have one from Thanksgiving from last year. This was a really fun, kind of cool, unique slasher movie. Well, I mean, I guess not too unique, but it's just a fun new slasher movie that came out last year, and I had always enjoyed the posters for it as well. Uh, there's another one, I think, of um, pil the Pilgrim guy, like, in the town or something like that. My buddy said he's going to try to get for me because that was my first choice, but I do really like this one, too. It's just a cool overall outfit and with the bloody axe and stuff, so this one will definitely be going up uh, in the frame in October around Halloween and stuff, probably alongside my ghost face poster from Scream 6. So that's everything I got this past month. Only one thing in the way of movies, but I'm super excited about the shirt, the posters, the Kindle, all that stuff. It was still a really nice month getting into some new hobbies with reading and stuff like that. So thanks for checking out this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for sticking around to the end. I'll see you in the next one.